Today's video is all about three gadgets that we couldn't um, live without. We are doing this video in collaboration with another collective. You can check those guys out in the description below. Please do check them out. We all like to support each other. So if you've got five minutes, work your way through them all. And I'm sure they'll all have something different to offer. Um, we've obviously got a seven month old baby. So one item is pretty critical for, for us and that is the first item which I'm going to show you and that is the jackery. Um, it's basically a portable power station and we've also got a 100 watt solar panel that um, can power this along with if you're on electric hookup. Um, you can use the main input or while traveling it's also got a 12 volt input and that'll also charge it. This is great because it's got a 13 amp socket it's got three USBs and it's got a 12 volt as well so we quite often use it to charge the phones and the laptops but the the main saving grace for this unit is the fact that it can charge and um, not charge we can use it with Rory's um, bottle steriliser and that same machine also heats his milk so for us to be able to go on um, sites without electric cooker or just you know car parks that you find on park for night or search for sites it's been um, a godsend. This charges overnight in the van when we're on electric hookup or if we're not on electric hookup we've got the 12 volt solar if we're not on electric hookup we've got the 100 watt solar panel um, and that kind of charges throughout the day. I think to get full charge in it it needs to be nine hours um, overnight in the van on hookup it is about seven and a half hours and that's a full charge. We sometimes charge it in between um, travelling so we get it in the front of the van um, in the footwell and it charges on 12 volt when we're going through A to B. Um, next on the list is our trusted outdoor revolution heater. Coming down um, France and Spain in the beginning of January and February, it was amazing. It just kept the van nice and toasty. It meant we didn't have to worry about Rory overnight. We knew he was always going to be warm um, and it's been amazing. Now we're in Morocco and we're in 30 degree plus heat every day, you must be thinking why the heck do you need a heater? But it's actually got a really cool function, no pun intended, and it, you can basically put it on um, 16 degrees and it will start to bring the air temperature down. So we've had it on constantly um, here, we are on electric hook up here so we've not had to use the jackery for it but basically it's helps keep the van somewhere between 22 and 26 degrees. Absolute lifesaver. We actually forgot we could put it on that setting. It was only a couple of weeks ago. I was like, oh, wait a minute, that um, outdoor rev heater's actually got a cool function. And when, when it's on the cool function, the lights go blue. And when it's on heat, um, they go red. And we actually had it on heating two days ago. We had 19 degrees um, temperatures here and you might think, oh my God, that sounds amazing. But when you've been in 30 degree plus heat and there was a bit of a wind to be fair, I thought, yeah, the heater is going on. Um, still a bit overcast today, but hopefully uh, for Easter weekend, it's going to be nice again. Uh, the next thing that I want to talk about is our Kadak. Because we're in the, the Ford Transit, it's a very, very small space we've got in there and we've been primarily keeping the bed down because we've now been on um, you know we're trying to do sites two weeks at a time if not maybe a couple of weeks one place three weeks another place we're even contemplating staying on this site um, into the middle of next month before we're due to leave so um, outdoor cooking is kind of key for us especially now the better weather's in and um, with having the bed down all the time it's just nigh impossible to cook um, in there. Yeah, and I did want to give another um, mention to the Dr. Brown steriliser. Now, these have got terrible reviews on Amazon and I understand why now, but it's still been um, a lifesaver because we could have done, you know, the old fashioned sterilising with water, but you know, you need five litres of water at a time. The weather's not always been great enough to do it outdoors, not enough space to do it in the van. Um, we have done it a few times to be fair when we've been stuck, um, you know, if it's just, I think, I'm trying to think where we, when we took a day trip to the, not a day trip, it was a three day trip to the desert. Um, we didn't bring this, we just did the cold water um, solution, but 
yeah, this basically sterilises a bottle in six minutes and heats a bottle in six minutes. So it's been absolutely, absolutely brilliant, guys. Highly, highly recommend it. The reason people complain though is it leaks water everywhere. Uh, it's really, really badly designed and the heat that comes off it when you take a bottle out burny burny fingers and you're obviously trying to get things done as quick as possible so I don't have any patience to let it cool let it cool down um yeah so that is my three gadgets I couldn't live without if you're still watching I think I'll give you a little bonus tour of the camp and show you the, show you the caddock where that's set up and maybe show you the beach let's go so this is our pitch we've got our old mat hanging up there just now that needs a good wash our toilet tent there not pegged in because the ground is rock solid we've just had this little enclosure made which should give us some protection from the sun the sun's been um, beating down on this half of the pitch first thing in the morning and when it's been so hot it's um it's been a bit of a nightmare so we've had that made and um, this is Richie's workstation and that is the 100 watt solar panel this is the site no dickie's going to do a proper a proper tour um yeah let me show you the beach so guys now we're here it uh, must be just going five o'clock and that is the, the main beach that runs all along the front of Tagazoot. Some really nice hotels down here guys. So guys I hope you enjoyed that. Um, let us know what your top three must-haves are in the comments below and what other type of content you'd like me to, to film for you. See you on the next one. So. I know I've said cheerio, but I forgot I wanted to do um, a little plug, little shameless plugs. Took my hand to children's writing. I've got my first book out, it's called Rory and Koji World Adventure Season. Try that again. It's called Rory and Koji's World Adventure Series, not season. And um, book one is Scotland. Um, it's basically about a little boy and his teddy dragon um, called Koji and they travel in their magical camper van which um, can transport them to any country that they like and in each country they learn some cool facts and fun info and then at the end of the book there's like a colouring section they can learn cool phrases and there's a, a few other activities for them to do as well so that's just been launched on Amazon um, I've put the link below and I'd be you know, amazed if you would just check it out. Thanks guys.